Hi Leo, welcome. We're doing your weekly reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. This will be for July 1st through the 7th. July 1st through the 7th. Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Mars. What does Leo need to know this week that is coming in? One more leo sun moon rising venus and mars wow mars 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 in scorpio and of course the tower here it feels like of course it might be tied to a situation from the past but some type of illumination some type of shake-ups let's see i want to see how the reading comes in i mean this seems stable and committed energy here Maybe unburdening uh, some type of confessions here, unburdening a situation. Yeah, with the tower and the judgment, we are definitely dealing or with some type of uh, confessions, some type of awakening, contact, divine moment here. Again, a judgment at the end of the day, it, it's a gift especially when it comes to releasing here something clean slate i have mentioned pluto is is in aquarius it is opposing you it is retrograde because i feel like something from the past i'm so sorry about the noise outside i hope you guys can hear me it feels like something from the past here is going to be revealed or you're you're starting something clean that's what it seems like um we'll see but powerful it is a major arcana oh my god oh my god two major arcanas jupiter jupiter in gemini is good for you is creating harmonious this is a change guys both of these cards are about changes faded changes a lifetime a kind of life opportunities here that are coming in so it's time it, with these two it's telling you it's time for some type of shift um, in a way, when you get though the major arcanas, we feel like we don't have much control. We just, it depends on how we act on it. We have to face it. And when I say no much control, I've, I've said this kind of example a few times. We have plans to go somewhere. It's going to rain or there's going to be something here that prevent us. How we decide to deal with it is going to be uh, very important. Now, again, I love these two energies together because it feels like it's releasing you of whatever has been this burden but it can be unexpected with the will of fortune it can be that you know we just go with the flow it feels divine let's see here what surrounds this seven of pentacles i feel like this is actually something you have been waiting for this is another jupiterian energy is taurus so it feels like you uh, have worked or have dedicated something here for some time and now it's like what's the next step how much uh, should i invest are the rewards going to come in am i going to get lucky here is finally the universe because that's what you're asking here with a judgment as well going to kind of you know show me the way open up you're waiting for some rewards or come back here the queen of swords in the past maybe was regarding someone here and you can be the queen of swords this can be your person there was some type of hurtful situation the queen of swords does not trust as easily it may be a single ma mother divorced person or someone that is hurtful uh, as you can see is offering the hand but the sword is right there the moment that the queen of swords feels like something is not um, authentic real pure doesn't make sense it's ready to cut that uh, person off you see you feel like you know the epiphany the realization in your mind here what do you uh, feel like is going to happen what your intuition has known all, all along you want here to finally have this epiphany this realization to make the choice that your gut feeling knows it feels like something you have known always but has not been revealed that's what you're hoping for with the high priestess i want my intuition to be right i want to know exactly the choice to to make something that needs to be revealed that has been mysterious okay three of cups um or there's going to be i feel like you the three of cups comes for you a lot guys or there's going to be this reunion this celebration um or again finally you are going to get the rewards here that you've been waiting for but this has been the anticipating celebration meeting um good news here 
page of swords you've been preparing man like you've been preparing so how are you going to act you feel like i'm waiting for the news because as soon as i get the news i'm taking off here some type of conversation some type of messages you're observing you're prepared i'm, I'm getting messages and communication here coming in uh, but you're prepared external to you what is this ten of swords this might be a person or uh, this might be your blind spot i feel like you're prepared here the ten of swords is someone that has been going on through all of this hurtful um and this is mentally most than anything logical situation here um type of scenarios this is someone that feels like oh maybe it's over maybe it's never gonna happen maybe it's too late remember with a judgment that there's going to be some awakening so be aware of the negative thoughts of the surroundings or again this might be someone that feels like no it's too late the knight of wands I'm, I'm telling you you're ready for actions here you're ready for a trip you're ready to charge in you feel passionate you're hoping that there's finally the pathway here oh my god why is the moon coming there's the queen of wands why is the moon coming in i want to say because you have the high priestess with the moon there's still uh, some type of enigma but also i want to say that you're going to have some secrets here that you are not going to completely open up maybe because of this ten of swords because as i mentioned you're watching you're preparing um you know that there's a shift that is coming in but how you handle it i feel like or there's going to be some type of uh, still here elusiveness but i'm getting secrets with these two the the high priestess and the moon is telepathic is intuitive but is secretive you're going to keep this secret to yourself but it's because you feel like right now it's not exactly the time to open up completely um whatever is this unexpected messages communication here or preparation that you have you're not going to divulge it i really want to see what that moon is going to clarify oops sorry i um because I feel like whatever is this meeting or connection that is coming with you and this person my goodness um you feel like you have to keep it to yourself let's see what is the judgment the six of wands is you glow up on the spotlight something is going to come towards you and you've been waiting it, it might not be completely ready for this public image and recognition and declaration here but this is the glow up this is the recognition that you've been waiting for the spotlight it's like really it's coming as a gift or a person here that you've been waiting or the rewards what is the will of fortune you see i'm telling you there's going to be some breakthrough some changes it's you want that but with the moon is still veiled you're waiting for the right opportunity for some type of truth and breakthrough and beginnings what is the seven of pentacles the queen of wands and the empress love creativity abundance you have been waiting and for some of you again guys doesn't have, have to be about love i am getting that there's a great meeting here that is taking playing a uh, place or your own people your own um uh, i feel like friends here coming together finding solutions together so it might be about creativity um uh, but for most of you it is about a person that you've been waiting for that you feel like it's the right one what is the queen of swords A an opportunity i feel like again the, the queen energy is coming strong here I, I can i have a chance can i have an opportunity with you in a way if you are the queen of swords you're kind of questioning yourself should i give this person a chance 
Should I open the door? What is the High Priestess, please? What is the High Priestess? One more. Yep, it's the Knight of Wands. In a way, you are guarded. You're guarding a secret here because there's some preparation. You're ready to take steps or you're ready for a new journey or you're ready to go with this person or whatever you have to start here that you feel passionate. So you're hoping that you know you're right and that's going to come towards you but you're questioning right now if you should tell anybody or if you should open up or should just this be a secret uh, between the two of you what is the three of cups please what is the three of cups one more I got a lot, but we have uh, some good times coming in. The King of Cups. Wow, the Tower again. It's going to be a nice surprise here. I'm getting a few people you might meet or you and this person here. You have been dreaming about this situation. That's why I said finding solutions together. It feels like there's going to come here as um, some emotional support, some good times, some good news especially emotional support because I'm getting the king of cups and the three of cups and the seven of cups Scorpio cancer Pisces doesn't have to be someone is very intuitive and um, it feels very dreamy whatever this meeting or this celebration or coming together but sudden um, surprising here and again it might be like whatever is this that needs to be exposed is like you and this person saying okay Let's continue this, but let's not really make it, a, um, you know, or official right now. I don't even want to say official. It feels like let's keep it a secret or let's not tell anybody because that's what I'm getting here. I want to see maybe the moon is finally that both of you are ready to open up to what you have been dreaming. But um, let's see. What is the page of swords? All right, you're preparing. You need. You feel like you need to leave something behind that has been uh, difficult for you, Leo. Yep, you're preparing to be with the right person, but for some of you, there's something or codependent or financial difficulties here. So you're just waiting for that right news. And once you have that, you feel like okay, I can move on because you want to be with the person here. The, this meeting is happening or this coming together. I don't know if someone feels mentally right now it's too late or again is afraid that's external be aware of this one more for the ten of swords yes yeah, someone feels like maybe it's not going to be accepted so or this is how this person sees you or someone feels like no they're not going to accept my offer they're not going to uh, communicate they're not going to make a decision that is the blind spot or your person here what is the knight of wands one more death card i feel like you really yeah you're hoping that there's going to be this change you are actually you are welcoming a change here because you're tired of feeling trapped stuck or someone finally can untie themselves from a situation and move forward mentally what is um I'm going to look at, oh my God, is the judgment. So to me, this is revelations. You're going to tap into that energy that has been elusive, uh, truth, revelations, exposed energy here. Time to open up. It feels faded. You have strong faded energy this week. Uh, I know that Mercury will enter Leo soon yep yeah this is for some of you if you have gone through some difficulties when it comes to stability money you have been waiting here also uh for some type some long time here it feels like tight grip um waiting 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 it's coming again something will be revealed towards you how you handle it though it's going to be very important but um the wheels of fate are in motion for you guys, Leon. 
And it is not something, remember, do not let a situation here, log, uh, mind or logically here, because he's saying this, you have this secret, you have this intuition. It's all about how you access it and open up towards it. Again, it might be a secret. And right now you feel like when the right moment is, I'm going to say it. And you're kind of waiting for that right moment, waiting for that breakthrough, preparing. So I feel like you hold something very important here intuitive wise skill wise a connection wise and you decide the hands of fate are here and you decide how you're going to deal with it what is the queen of wands please yep stability money commitment in the end you know towards it's a lot about money and stability and longevity here and legacies but it feels like right now this week is about what is this meeting? What is this news? And it has to be an emotional situation and how you go about it, how you handle it, because the, as I mentioned, the hands of fate are here. It's a, it feels like a perfect twist here that is coming in and you decide that, you know that it's going to reveal something to you. I feel like, and how you handle it after or afterwards is important. I truly hope this resonates. Thank you. Bye-bye.